This is my 1K video. And I'm also going to entitle this video, The Road Less Traveled. But before we do that, here it is, my 1K video. And what I'm going to talk about today is, first of all, why is it that even though this is my 1K video, it ended up being after my literal 1K video. And then on top of that, I'm going to talk about why I called this The Road Less Traveled. Now, I know it's not its official name, but this video will also be called The Road Less Travel. Now the first thing I'm going to say is that it was not because of the content of the fat Aussie Barster that drove me to do this. His content is very good. I just have one little problem with it. His constant use of expletives is a bad thing to get yourself into and it's a bad thing uh, it's, it's hard to get rid of it. I just simply don't like his expletives. It sets a bad example for kids. He is trying to demonstrate himself to be an all kind of a all around family guy. And like I said, with his content, that's not a problem. But his expletives have just got to go. And I did not want him to be the reigning champion of YouTube with all those expletives. I said, you know what? I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna be the reigning champion of YouTube. And he's got to he's got to remove his expletives out of his videos. And if he doesn't, that's fine. I don't care either way. But he's not going to stand there and take a trophy, and uh, stand there and use a ton of expletives. I will. I just I just don't like that. And I'll do everything I can to keep that from happening. And so I kind of got into a rush, and that's why he ended up seeing the thousandth video as an Abraham Lincoln video. So there you go. Uh, but if the fat Aussie Barster could just get rid of his expletives, he'd have an excellent channel. I like his stuff. So I don't want you thinking that I don't like his stuff, it's just I don't like his expletives. Big difference. Do I use expletives from time to time? I do, but I don't do it on YouTube. It's just it's just not right. And I try not to in real life, but that doesn't always work out so good. So there you go. Um, but the road less traveled. Well, I'm going to go ahead and draw this real quick. There is a road that's called the Elwyn Mount Zion Blacktop. And I'm going to show you part of uh, I'm going to show you some of this uh, when I continue this video. Anyway, There is a path that can take you from the Elwyn Mount Zion blacktop all the way to the other side, and I believe it's Blue Mound. You can go to the other side of Blue Mound and you don't have to go through either town. It's not that these towns are bad. They're good towns, but when you're wanting to go off to Shelbyville and you don't want to take US 51 and you don't want to go through Mount Zion or Blue Mound, you want to find an alternate route that will take you past both towns. Okay? And so we're going to call this uh, Andrews Street, McDonald Street, and there's another street here. And what, what happens is that if you take the streets I'm suggesting, and I will show you this in the video, you will actually connect to Illinois 128 without going through Mount Zion and without going through Blue Mound. And these roads are pretty decent. I've driven them myself and I show you these videos. I will show you these particular roads in my videos. Um, I was not able to drive and hold the camera up at the same time. That's illegal around here. So what I did was when I went on these country roads, I actually stopped the car, pulled the car over the side, and videotaped the sign to show you the intersections that you need to be at in order to do what I'm at, what I'm what I'm having you do. Uh, the same situation was at Andrew Street. You really couldn't pull over on Andrew Street. You couldn't pull off on the on the uh, L1 Mount Zion blacktop. So I wasn't able to videotape that. But these other country roads, I was able to pull off to the side, videotape, and show you how to do this. But basically, here we go. You got your L1 Mount Zion blacktop. 
There's a Pittsburgh Plate Glass Company over here, and on the other side is Carl Road. If you take Carl Road, then go up Andrew Street, then go up McDonald Road, and there's another road right here, and I will show you that in the video in just a minute. Uh, then you can go all the way on 128, and there's Blue Mound here, and there's Mount Zion here, and you don't have to go through either one. But I want to stress... It is not that they are bad towns. They are very good towns, but they have very low speed limits. And when you're trying to get to Shelbyville, especially from where I'm at, uh, you don't want to drive through Mount Zion and to through Blue Mountain. This is a, a far faster route. You can go anywhere between 45 and 55 miles an hour if you do this. But you can't um, if you're... Uh, driving through Mount Zion and you're driving through Blue Mountain, you have to slow down to 30. And that's something you don't want to do. I will say, though, that this is a good daytime route, but if you're going through snow or you're going at night, it's not a recommended course for two reasons. If in the snow, then you're going to deal with snow and ice and you could slide off the road, and that would not be good. If you're doing this at night, you could run into deer. And that I don't recommend. However, the road less traveled has as much to do with life as well as what I just showed you. Okay, and I'm going to show you the rest of it in just a little bit. Right now, I'm taking the road less traveled. Not everybody produces YouTube videos. They get onto Facebook, they get onto MySpace, they do a little bit of internet work, but they do not normally get onto YouTube. This is the road less traveled. And it has become quite a benefit for me because now that I'm able to introduce myself to everybody and tell people who I am and what I'm all about, they can now trust me. And by doing so, uh, I can now sell web pages to these people and they'll know I won't harm their computer. And that's very important for a web page business. Now, I know there are web page businesses uh, here around this town and I will be in contact with them to try to do some freelance work. But I would like to just sell directly to you. And I don't have anything really to sell just yet, but I will. Uh, I'm going to work over the holidays to try to, to get all this set up and ready to go. And then I will start selling my web pages here on YouTube. And you will see what I have in mind when I create it all. Okay? I'm actually teaching a best friend of mine uh, how to do this as well. She is pursuing a road that a lot of people are pursuing, but she's doing it in a non-usual way. Uh, she is getting ready to sell Scentsy Candles. I encourage her to do it, but I did tell her, I said, if you're going to do this, make your web pages, and if an opportunity comes up for you to show your web pages to these people while they're at your Scentsy parties, show it to them, and then they may become interested enough into your web page design to buy your web pages off of you. This is a good thing for her. So she has started to pursue the road less travel. I am pursuing the road less travel. And I think every one of you should do the same. And if you've come to this channel, you really are pursuing the road less travel because not everybody likes to learn the kind of things I'm willing to teach. And let me tell you something. Another part of the road less traveled is the Abraham Lincoln signs I've been videotaping. Not everybody goes to these storyboards and videotapes them, but I do, and I'm happy to do it free of charge to let you people see what's really out there. Sometimes you should take the road less traveled, and if you do, you'll be really happy you did. Alright, that's all I've got to say for now on my 1K video. I may say more in a future video. We'll just have to see. Stay tuned and keep in tune because I'm going to show you the physical route between the Elwyn Blacktop and 128. Stay tuned. Okay, this is Ted the Speed Learner. I am on the corner of Carl Road and Andrew Street. And if you ever want to go to Shelbyville, but you don't want to go through Mount Zion, uh, there is a road called Carl Road, and it will take you, um, it, it's uh, right across the street from uh, the uh, Pittsburgh Plate and Glass in, uh, just before you get to Mount Zion. In other words, you're on the Elwyn Mount Zion blacktop, you go to the Pittsburgh Plate and Glass, instead of turning to the, to the plant, you turn the other direction and you'll be on Carl Road. And if, as soon as you get there, you'll go to Andrews Street. 
If you go to one direction of Andrews Street, you'll go to Macon. If you go to the other direction, you'll go, and I'll show you where you can go there, and eventually it'll take you to 128, which will take you immediately to Shelbyville, and that way you don't have to go through, I think it's either Dalton City or Blue Mound, you don't have to go through there, and you don't have to go through Mount Zion either. So, I will tell you more in just a little bit. Stay tuned. Okay, I am on the corner of McDonald and Ridland Road, and I, when I went on Andrews Street, I went all the way on Andrews Street until I reached McDonald Road, then I made a right on McDonald Road, and I traveled all the way down here, and I'm going to make a left at Ridland Road. By doing so, I've avoided a lot of traffic and a lot of hassle and got a lot of good scenery. I will tell you though, you don't really want to travel this at night because of the deer and you don't want to travel this in the winter time because it's slick. But anyway, it's a nice neat little shortcut to get around um, Mount Zion and so on and so forth. Tell you more in a future video, stay tuned.